Hey guys, it's Agosti Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with AR Foundation. And the reason why I'm making this video is because some of you were having issues with Android AR Core with the universal rendering pipeline. So I'm gonna show you some of the steps that are required in order for you to make that work. I'm also going to be building this video up on the previous video, so make sure you watch that video. I'm going to be putting the link in the description, and I'm also going to be sharing the GitHub project for anything that I'm doing in this video to make sure that you can also replicate it on your own device. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cloning this repo. This is something that I submitted based on the previous video that I did with URP and iOS. The reason why I wanna do this is because this video is going to be building up on that video. So the previous video was iOS only. This video is going to be Android. And I wanna make sure that it works for Android users because some of you reported that you were getting a black screen. So I'm gonna show you some of the steps. So let's go ahead and open up. Let me go ahead and open up my command prompt here. And it's gonna go ahead and clone this repo. So we're just gonna do get clone and then paste it in here. So it's a very small repo. That's why it cloned so fast. We're gonna be adding this. And let me go ahead and go into my code here and we're going to open that select project and the platform that i'm going to be selecting is going to be android even though it's already set to ios i'm going to change it to android and the version that i'm going to be using is 1.4 f1 that is the latest version for the 2020 that one and make sure that you use that that way you know everything is going to work just like it's going to work for me and let's go ahead and click it to open it up all right, guys, so it looks at like the project got uh, converted. We can go ahead and verify that. Go to File, Build Settings, and make sure that Android is the one that is selected. Also, make sure the scene that I have right now is the default scene. The other thing that I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into Player Settings. And right now, what I want to show you is we have the, the functionality added for ARKit, which is right here. We're also going to be using ARCore, but before we do that, I want to show you something else. Let's go ahead and go into Window and Package Manager. And in the package manager, if you saw the previous video, which I recommend that you watch, you, you notice that I did ARKit, right? So that's why it says that in project, that's the one that it has selected because we did it specifically for iOS. And this time I'm going to be searching for AR Core. And the version that I'm using, it's going to be the 4.0.a. I'm trying to make sure that I have all the versions on the XR components be the same. So make sure that you do that and you don't select a, a different one because things might not be compatible. And let's go ahead and click on install should be really fast here. It's gonna resolve it, download it, and then it'll basically install it. So once we get this, we can go back into player settings and then select the XR plugin provider. So we can close this and let's go back into player settings, like I said, and you can see that now we have AR Core. And the reason why I told you to do that first is because I had issues with that in the past, so make sure that you do it in the order that I specify. Now we can select that. And that tells the basically AR Foundation that we're going to be using AR Core as a plugin provider. Then the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the player settings. So let's go ahead and click on player. And I'm, you know, I'm doing this by memory, so hopefully this is gonna work. We just drag and drop this. We can't use Vulkan with AR Core because it's not supported, so that's why I'm moving OpenGL ES3 to be the graphics API that we're gonna be using. So make sure you do that. You can change some of these settings. Uh, the only one that I'm gonna change is going to be the API level because AR Core doesn't support any of these ones. They support 24 API level and above. So we're gonna be selecting that. And I think that's everything that I did before. So it's gonna be a very simple video. And I think that's everything. Let me make sure that graphics is fine. And yeah, I think that's everything that we need to do. And as far as like settings, right? So the other thing that I need to do here, and if we go back into my scenes, Double click on my sample scene. In the previous video, we were using the AR Pro, basically the AR Pro Manager, which creates realistic reflections. That is not supported on AR Core. So I'm going to be creating another scene just for, you know, for the one that we're doing right now, which is Android. So we can go ahead and I'm gonna rename this. This is gonna be the iOS sample scene. And reload it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clone it. And we can just call this one the Android. Just wanna make sure things are organized because this code is gonna be available in GitHub as soon as I'm done. And then what I'm gonna do here, we can just create a new prefab and I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on this one. And Unity now put this under a prefab and it's basically driving me crazy because I'm not used to it. And then I'm gonna delete these other ones. So I can go ahead and go close. 
Then what I'll do here for the material, I'm gonna just do, let's go ahead and do a new one. And this one we can just call it reflection for Android. We can rename this one just to be consistent for iOS. And there we go. And then what I can do is I'm gonna drag the one for Android into my sphere. And this one is just gonna be simple. We can just, I want it, I wanna see it. So let me make sure that, okay, yeah, I did that right. Let me make sure this is the right one for Android, it is. And then we can just go ahead and go into like a red color or something like that. I'm gonna make these metallic a little bit lower. There we go. And then on the prefabs, I'm just gonna say, this is a version two, I think that's okay. And we can just drag and drop it here. And I'm just gonna do, just go ahead and do couple because um, that way it'll look cooler. It'll just give us some different size on the, on the spheres. We can do one there and then Let's go ahead and put one right below it, one over there, one over there. Yeah, something like that so that we can see more than just a sphere. We can just make this one maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. And I think everything is set up correctly. The last thing that I need to do on this one, remember, AR Environment Prop Manager is not supported by AR Core, so we're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. If you were creating a real experience, I would basically use the, the actual system and the subsystem and make sure that, okay, is this supported? If it is, you know, enable it. If it's not, just disable it. For now, this is we're not using that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. And I think everything is good. I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this just to keep them clean. There we go. And that's everything. Now we go back into File, Build Settings. Let's go ahead and uncheck this one. And we're gonna be checking this one because this is the one that we're gonna be building. And it's gonna ask me for my device. Make sure that you connect your Android device on USB-C. And we could build it to it and that's fine. And I'm actually gonna do that because I'm gonna be showing you how it looks. So we can just go ahead and do build and run. I'm gonna put it in my desktop and this is gonna be my Android. We can just call it Android URP demo. And then hit save. It's gonna ask me if I want to use the greater greatest that I have installed of the SDK tool. So I'm just gonna say, yep, go ahead and use it. And it's telling me, make sure the USB has been enabled. Okay, I'll fix that and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so it looks like I just needed to allow USB debugging on my, on my Android device. I was gonna say iOS. And let me just go ahead and hit retry. Make sure that works, there we go. So I'll just show you as soon as this is done building. All right guys, so this just finished building. We can go ahead and look it up. You can see that now we're rendering the background. And for some of you who are having issues with the black background, make sure you follow the steps and make sure you watch the previous video if you wanna know exactly what I did. And again, this is gonna be available in GitHub so you guys can download it and try it yourself. Thank you guys. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have additional questions, please let me know in the comments. Also make sure to follow me in Twitter where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and I'm also posting early access source code via Patreon. Thank you very much guys.